Bob Crane was a pioneer as far as celebrity sex tapes are concerned. I mean, he was making professional quality sex tapes in the 60s and 70s. He clearly was a sex addict, but that term was not even invented until long after he was dead. When your hobby is picking up women and producing porn movies with them, you're probably gonna make a lot of enemies. A jealous boyfriend, a jealous husband, an angry father. All of these people could have been killers of Bob Crane. So the police did look at that. Mr. Crane had a massive injury. It was such a devastating blow. He died instantaneously. This was certainly not a random murder. This was not a burglary gone wrong. This was a crime of passion. Back in 1978, Scottsdale PD didn't even have a homicide department. So they were clearly in over their heads. But when they searched Crane's motel room, they couldn't miss his vast collection of homemade pornography. Police found scene after scene of Bob having sex with dozens of women. Every one of these tapes could be motive for murder. Once Crane was off TV, he's got too much time on his hands. And what was a simple hobby mushroomed into an addiction that he had to keep feeding. And of course, sooner or later, something's going to go terribly wrong.